Good afternoon. 1.24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The date is 3-2 of 2011. And we have Google on a 60-minute chart. And what we want to show you, it's our market maker platform. You want to learn more about it? Come and visit us and you can watch it in action. We're at a major topping level up toward the 52-week high. We had reversal one, reversal two, and a nice reversal three with a great breakout. And then on Friday, we had a breakout back toward the highs on options expiration Friday, 3-1. What I would like to point out is when we're looking at how to trade Google, we use the calls and the puts. One of the things that I would like to cover with my MMTs in here is that we can clearly see that the uh, calls on Friday, well, not the, so you can see these uh, uh, calls right here, the 780 call, 785, and 790 call, and the $800 call. What I would tell people is that you can see the percent returns on the call side. Those other ones were the markdowns in the put side on the last prints. These were the positive uh, changes. So the actual volume that was traded, we can see that the net change column in here is that the puts were marked down substantially. 97% they were marked down on the 795 put, 55% on the put option of the 810s, and 18% on the put option over here on the $800 put, 800 strike right here. We can see where the percent gain on the $800 Friday expiration was 45% and 21% on the call side prospectively. What has happened right now, we are going to take a look at the next weekly contract and we're going to take a look at the 810 put options right here that were marked down from $16 to a deflated price of $9.30. I am going to clear out this market minder and I'm going to add the $805 put. I'm going to add the $810. I'm going to add the $815 put. All the puts are marked down to the deflated value area. And what do we mean by the deflated value area? It would be this area here. So let's take a look at the 810 put on a weekly level. They've been marked down from these very high prices up here. And the put option in the market from that peak to that low is significant in price. Meaning that, yes, the puts had paid great. They had shot straight up to those highs. And the puts were viable, but you had to sell up here. Now they're back down here at the lower price level. That price level on the put side for the weekly is going to be the following. And we'll show you here now. The price was 930 and they closed at 963. The drop down will mean that they will get more wholesale for the entry and the, and the risk is taken out down here. They're not inflated. They're not high dollar value. They're at the lower end of the market. Now, having said that, when you go back to the 60-minute chart, you can see the deflated put here, and you can see that we're at major tops on a 60-minute chart in this live video, MMT. And when we get those reversals, these puts, they trade from the bottom to the high. They trade from the bottom to the high. And now we're back at that bottom with this reversal and price exhaustion right below the 52-week high. Any spike up, we would be looking for the 60-minute reversal bars and we would immediately buy big positions when that criteria and the parameter structure in the market-making platform is met in our formulas and our high-frequency algorithms have been met, then we'll make that side of the market. We had a great call side of the market. So we are going to take a look at some of the calls over here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put the $800 call in. And the $800 call was inflated up here at $16 and got marked all the way down here on the call side. This is a weekly contract now. And what week is it? We know what week it is. It's the $800 call. And we're going to put that in our market minder MMT. And we're doing that live now. Now, the calls had peaked from this bottom range right here on Friday's expiration straight up to the high. Before, straight up, they got inflated. They came down all the way. The calls got mutilated from here to here because they got inflated up in this area and the public gets stuck. MMT, we know that the calls can go back up a little bit but they too would have big sell wicks right off of the call side. And then we would be taking a look at the current level of the 795 call, which is $10 in the money. There's not a lot of data on it, but it hit $10 and traded up to $15.50 on the call side. Now, having said all of that, because it is a weekly contract, let's take a look at the 790 call that's deep in the money. We have a little bit more on this particular weekly. It's the same week, but this is a 790 call in the money. And we're going to put the 790 call in the money, and I'm going to show you right now that these calls were deflated. They got inflated, and they came all the way back down here. Yeah, they did. They were up here at $22 and some change. They came all the way back down here, and they got to a low of $1160 here on the expiration Friday and we traveled right up to to uh, 1970 up here on the high now when we get back over here MMT on making markets the calls were totally inflated at 2320 and they were inflated at 2320 here but look how they come down to the lows here of $13 they got to this low here of $8.40 and popped right back to the high of $20. A big call trade right here. So the calls that are in the money are inflated and they're going to trade values with the other side of the market. This is going to be the call and put structure that we do for the weekly expiration. The call side is to make sure that we have strike prices in there, 785, 790. We can do as well as low as the 770 call that's in the money. And we'll throw the 770 call right here. And that 770 calls that when they get up here inflated, they come down. They got totally inflated at $38 and they came down $18 to that, that low. Yes, they did. And they did it in a one. A one, a two, a three, a four, and on the fifth day, they made their low, and they bounced them right back up there. That means that these are inflated, and they, too, will have the same process going down in value. When that occurs, when that occurs, that means that this $810 put shoots straight back up in value, and we'll be trading it based on, and I'm going to go to paid save, so paid save. And there's the Google call and put structure on a 3-8 weekly expiration. Sign up for the weekly expiration training. We give you live entries and exits. Exits and entries and entries and exit at wholesale prices. Um, get in there right now. So the $800 call is still inflated. Went from 660 to 1220. They're going to come down in value. And we're going to be trading once again. The lower end, wherever our prices are, and I've already set prices with my MMTs lower. I know where the lower end of the market is. We get a gap up. They mark these down to 670. I get pop it in there. $16 on the high, 1220. They marked them down to 930, and they ended up negative 2.57. There is lower markets based on what? I will show you on the 60-minute chart, which will support this price right away, as if we get a 60-minute reversal bar like that.
or a 60 minute reversal bar like that or a 60 minute reversal bar like that and then getting in at the high and at the low over here makes us huge gains once again we are looking at this major triple top on a 60 minute in our mathematical market making platform that we can trade up and these can still trade down because they're still in the money remember that Google closed at what price it closed at 80619 and we know that and we're right below the highs and here is the deflated uh, 810 put right here there was the inflated put at above 25 down to 963 this is wholesale for the MMT market maker see you in the live trading room sign up now take the next step about making money